Florida under siege from the most powerful storm the East Coast has seen in over a decade. Our team is on the ground in the storm zone. Hurricane Matthew, a demon in the dark, barreling into Florida's Atlantic coast. The massive Category 3 storm with winds over 120 miles per hour is wreaking havoc on the Sunshine State. A strong warning from the state's governor. Unfortunately, this is going to kill people. More than 3 million people urged to evacuate, clogging major highways up and down the coast for miles. Preparations for Matthew's arrival going on for days. ABC News' Gio Benitez is in the storm's path in West Palm Beach. We've now reached a safe location, but don't get me wrong, we are still feeling those powerful winds and rain because we're still in the West Palm Beach area, but we hope to not be near that eye wall. That's what's going to be so dangerous when it comes ashore, if it comes ashore. That is what officials want people to stay away from. You're going to have those 100 mile per hour winds there. Some 2.5 million people are expected to be without power in Florida by morning, and no doubt it will take that long to figure out where that damage is. So far, power lines going down along the coast. Tens of thousands already without power. In New Smyrna Beach, ABC's Lauren Lister is tracking the storm. A major concern here now, the storm surge. Where I am along the coast of Florida, it's expected to be 6 to 10 feet or more, meaning this waterway behind me could rise, and for residents here, flooding is a major fear. Hurricane Matthew is expected to continue moving up the coast, impacting Jacksonville, parts of Georgia, before hitting Charleston, South Carolina. Matthew has already torn a vicious path through the Caribbean, devastating Haiti, where over 100 people were killed and thousands of homes destroyed. The destruction there is still being tallied as the monster storm tore into the Bahamas earlier today, peeling roofs off houses, sending debris flying and causing widespread flooding. The impact zone on lockdown. And tonight, close to 4,000 flights canceled. Even Disney World closing down in Orlando for only the fourth time in history until the storm is over later Friday. Matthew remains a powerful hurricane into tomorrow as it makes its way into northern Florida and Georgia. We'll have much more on this storm throughout the night on ABC News and complete coverage on GMA in the morning.